Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Blue Lotus Gardens. If you're new here, my name is Blue Phoenix from Blue Lotus Garden. I do fun planty content and then I also uh, show you uh, a vlog of my day-to-day -day life with, with also like what I do in my plant studio and my small business. So that way you all see um, how I run my little business and also um, how I uh, share my found knowledge throughout all that as well. But first, if you could subscribe, like, or comment down below, let me know how you like the videos, and that way I can I can make better content for y'all and also uh, know what I can what you all like. In today's video, um, I'm I'm going to talk about propagating hoyas. Um, I'm new to hoyas, and also propagating hoyas. Um, so. What I've learned is a very uh, experimental, but also um, letting you know so that way you don't make these mistakes when propagating Hoyas like I did. And also uh, that way you could have a good start in propagating. So today I will be propagating uh, this Hoya Chelsea. It's really long. So what I wanna do is keep a little bit more of, of these and then also for the store and then do trades and then also find different Hoyas that I uh, have been wanting to uh, look into. Uh, but I want to show you, so first I want to show you all this little adorable growth point right there. Super adorable. But today we're going to be propagating this little guy. But I've already propagated some Hoyas um, before this. Um, some were not successful. Some were successful. Um, I did uh, by soil, and then I also did by sphagnum moss. Uh, so that way y'all um, y'all know uh, which ones I'm going to show y'all. So I propagated uh, a little bit of uh, one of my um, Hoya Hindu ropes uh, variegated. Uh, that way I kind of have like an extra one on site uh, and then start to uh, just include more into the store also uh, but so here is a good example of it how it's how it's going and you can tell it's a healthy uh, propagation by wiggling it and it's pretty stable in there um, you can, some of them, some of the leaves, like this one right here, might die off because it is uh, white. It is really, uh, it's, it's, it doesn't have enough uh, chlorophyll in it to sustain itself. So that way, so that way you know, but like, leave it on as much as you can until it, 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 it shows sign of it growing. Um, but there's also a little growth point in there as well so like i've noticed that hoyas kind of have like that little like sign so it's like very sm very like small signs that they show that you're doing right and they don't like to be in very like damp wet soil um when you're propagating them so right now it's, it's pretty moist still um i had i had bottom watered it and in three days, in a three day span, I noticed that it was not um, doing well. So I quickly changed from bottom watering it to not watering it and then only only top watering it. And what, by top watering it, I mean like drops. Like I just dip, dip, that's it. No more like, just kind of lightly. And it's still pretty, pretty moist as you see in there. And I'm not going to water it. Um, until it's like dry. I also propagated a Hoya Chelsea and I was doing the same and I noticed that it was uh, not doing well but the stem is still uh, viable. It's still uh, pretty, uh, it looks pretty sustainable so it doesn't, so I, uh, I it's still uh, good and the leaf isn't too soft. You can tell they're going bad when it gets really soft. That's what I've noticed. But I've also have these other two Hoya Hindu rope variegated uh, propagations. 
can you tell which one's gonna do gonna make it i think this one's gonna make it um this one right here has they're both planted the same way um but the stem this one's just a bigger leaf and then this one's a smaller leaf so i just it's like an experiment kind of like troubleshooting i had an extra one that i was given and so i this is what i did i propagated a little bit so i can like understand like a little bit more of it and that way i can share that knowledge with y'all as well um i think that's really important really want everybody to succeed in what in growing plants and taking care of them just as much as i am so oh and then there's this is this is a, a, a hoya chelsea and so i was doing the same thing with this one um if from earlier like i was telling you that i was watering it and um i noticed that it was getting a little too moist so i stopped and this is how it's going to look and the leaves were a little bit softer. Oh, the leaves were a little bit softer also when um, I noticed, but now they're a little bit harder. So that's a good sign. Um, I'm just making sure that it's just, it's in some pretty, it's in my grow light. Uh, so there's this one too. This like little like growth point right there, that little white part, that that's from what I noticed, that means it's still active and growing. And so I'm just like, I'm not, I'm not like messing with it until I know that it's like doing better. But yeah, so I did those. And then um, here's the Hoya uh, Crimson Queen um, in Sphagnum Moss. I just really wanted to try that and see how that is and if I can if I if I could propagate it through that and so far so good there's one that didn't make it and I wish I could show y'all but the whole little thing was just um, the whole stem was just rotted off what I noticed what not to do is water the sphagnum moss don't water the sphagnum moss and instead just uh, do a good uh, like spray down of it or be or beforehand water your sphagnum moss and wring it out don't water it through here because it doesn't dry up fast enough and then doing that method method of trying to like increase the humidity for it trying to dry up the, the sphagnum moss that way it doesn't work uh, because then all that it, it does it just uh, rots off your propagation so those are what i learned from my experience in trying to propagate hoyas um like i said i'm pretty new i'm also finding out what's working really fast and so i really wanted to like share that experience with y'all if y'all have any of these experiences that um, have happened with y'all let me know and um that way I, I i that way we all like can help each other and and, and grow um, or if y'all you have any tips that that could help me out or help you know help any somebody else out and then I have one uh, Hoya Chelsea in water so here's my little Hoya Chelsea propagation uh, it didn't have this little leaf so it I don't know where how it just grew and I mean, it was like a little like bitty white growth point like I was showing you on the, in, earlier in the video, but like it grew fast, but there's no like roots or anything like that. It just, that's just how it is. That's what I did. And so that's what was working for me. So next I'm going to uh, show you all how I propagate. So I basically like, this is like the inner node of the plant. I'll just um, cut right below here like that and then um, I can make two out of this so I'm just going to uh, show y'all you can just cut in between right over here and make another one so now I have two other propagations and now that looks nice I could actually like train it to go like 
as in a tr like a little trellis, like a little wire trellis like that. That'd be really adorable. Um, but yeah, some people like it to just be hanging and flowing, and that's always good too. These are um, also some of the Hoyas that you can find on my website. Um, I do 10% off everybody's first purchase um, with with code BLUE29, so use that code for your first pur purchase of uh, $30, 30 and over, and enjoy yourself a nice little plant from us, and hope you, hope you really like it. We have some really nice selections, and we're adding some more. I'm also working about working on some really really special plants and they'll be coming in soon um it's a long process that's all i have to say it's a really long process but y'all have a great amazing time we have amazing selections of plants and also wonderful merch um there's some really nice merch as you see up here it is reuse reduce and recycle it is a inspiration um but I, I definitely believe in it. Um, when I started this business, I really wanted to focus on being as eco-friendly as possible and just really like giving back. And I, I'm working on it and, and it's, it's going really good. Um, but yeah, we have really good merch. Links are all down below. We appreciate you all supporting us. Thank you so much. Subscribe, like, comment, let me know how you, how you feel about the videos. Y'all have a wonderful day. Peace, everybody. Bye.